the Israeli military has confirmed that it has been flooding tunnels used by Hamas under the territory. The army said that it was channeling, quote, large volumes of water into Hamas's tunnel network, but claimed it was making sure groundwater wasn't affected. Israeli media reported in December that... Israeli forces were testing using seawater to flood the tunnels. Experts warned that doing so could permanently damage freshwater supplies for Gaza's 2.3 million residents and risk the lives of hostages still being held by Hamas. Let's get more on this from Mike Martin. He's a former British Army officer and senior fellow in the Department of War Studies at King's College London. Mike, the Israeli army says some of the tunnels that belong to the hundreds of kilometers of tunnel network are being flooded in an attempt to flush out Hamas militants and destroy the tunnel structure. Can this actually work? Good morning, Michael. Uh, yeah, yes, in, in, a, in a fairly ruthless approach. It's, it's very simple. Um, you can pump in seawater, as you said, in your package. All you need is a, a fire hydrant, something that every fire department has, and, and you can run that for 24 hours. And it is as simple as it sounds. Water flows downhill, and we know some of these structures are very deep, and it fills up the system from the bottom. Uh, and then either if you're in that tunnel, you either drown or you have to come to the surface, which is obviously what the uh, IDF wants with this activity. Many of our viewers know that more than 100 Israeli hostages are still being held by Hamas, some of whom are believed to be in the tunnels. Doesn't the army risk drowning the very people they're trying to rescue? In a sense, actually, what we're seeing here with this story about flooding tunnels is a perfect example which describes the strategic tension that the Israelis have in their war aims. They aim to destroy Hamas, but also to release the hostages. That is repeated daily by the Israeli government. But actually, it's probably impossible to achieve both of those aims. The only time that hostages have been released is when, in fact, there has been a ceasefire. And mm. whilst the war fighting is has gone on we've seen hostages killed and so here when they're flushing out a tunnel to perhaps get rid of Hamas supplies or to take on militants obviously the most sensible place for the hostages to be is in the tunnel network so yes they are exactly put in danger so it's a perfect example of the tension the strategic tension at the center of the Israeli war aims mm. 
Experts say that uh, flooding tunnels is a dangerous option that poses huge risks to Gaza's already besieged uh, civilian population. What do they mean? Well, I think there's two things here. What, one was what you mentioned in your package, which is about groundwater. And of course, it's only seawater that they can pump in because that's, you know, obviously Gaza's on the coast and that's the biggest volume of water. And they need a lot of volume to flush out the entire tunnel network. That will seep into groundwater and a lot of Gazans uh, get their water from wells. So that's a huge problem. But the other problem is, What this flooding does is it is it pits some of the Gazan population between aerial bombardment and flooding underground. Inevitably, some of these tunnels will have been abandoned or there'll be lots of tunnels that aren't being used. And some elements of the Gazan population will be hiding in them. The best place to go when there's excessive aerial bombardment, as we're seeing, is underground. Mm. And so... By flooding the tunnels, it puts the population in between a rock and a hard place. Mike, we only have half a minute or so, but I am curious. Uh, Israel says that dismantling tunnels is a slow process and could take years. What sort of pushback could be expected from Hamas? And do they even have any interest in preserving those tunnels? Very briefly, uh, the tunnels are essential to Hamas. Any fighting force needs a rear area where it can store supplies, prep, treat casualties, and in this case, as we've heard, hold hostages. Um, removing the tunnel network from Hamas um, makes it very, very difficult for them to continue to fight. The people will survive, but they They will lose all of their military infrastructure, weapons, mm. supplies.